Okay, so throwing off the hump is a great way um, to start this process. Um, so let me angle this down. And I've already started, I already threw one piece off of the hump. So now I need to try to match it. So the thing that's nice about throwing off the hump is I don't have to recenter my clay every single time. And all of this business down at the bottom doesn't actually matter. I only care about the top little piece of clay that's hanging out at the top here. So I'm going to get that centered. And I want to make sure, like, the only part where this part becomes a problem is if it's wiggling your hands around, in which case then you need to fix that. Okay? So I have my little ball. This is where I'm going to, like, call it, like, no more clay after this point. So I like to mark off where the bottom of my piece is. Um, so that way I kind of have a, a point to work towards. The other thing that's nice though about working off of the hump is that if you don't give yourself enough clay, um, you can always go back and add some more. Okay, so I'm keeping my little pinky down here just so I can kind of feel where my base is so I have an idea. Okay, I'm kind of volcanoing that back in, but with like a lift instead of a volcano. Does it really matter? No. I mean, I think at this point, in this point you're like throwing, I think you are starting to have a better idea about what kind of the function is of each one of these steps. So even though we're not necessarily doing them exactly as prescribed in the videos, like in our first videos, like you're ready for a variation and deviation from that original. Let's see if I'm remotely close to the shape that I want. Yeah, so right now it's a little bit deeper than what I need, which is perfect because I'm going to make this a little, I'm going to make, pull this out a little bit. Plus, worst case scenario, I go back and I can trim it down. And that's going to be fine. what I got going on here. Okay, so I definitely need to trim that down by about a half an inch. All right, so that is looking like perfect. Now, the other thing that I wanna measure on here um, to, so that I can make sure that I'm still pretty um, close to all of that. So I wanna match my little like inward lip. So here's my two like pieces and they're coming like pretty close, but I do wanna match this little space here. Um, and I'm actually just going to do that with my fingers. So I'm going to bring that form in just a little bit.
Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Okay, now I'm gonna go into here. I'm gonna cut almost halfway into that. Okay, and then when you go to pick up, it'll be nice and easy. Now I have two pots that are looking pretty stinking similar. Okay, and I should, I think I should be able to kind of match that in terms of like the trimming. I'm gonna make myself one more for good measure. And I'm just kind of feeling like kind of, I'm making a note to myself about like how big the ball feels in my hand. And that, I mean, it's like, I don't know, three fingers tall, um, pretty well, like pretty much the thickness, the width of my thumb. So throwing off the hump is great for making like cups and bowls, not so great for making plates um, because you don't really get a chance to do some really good compression um, beforehand. Um, it is considered a production technique. It can be a huge, huge time saver. I'm not requiring anybody to throw off of the hump. Um, just it's a thing to learn and try out. Let's see what I got going on here. So I definitely am gonna to need to make that wider, which is fine. My depth, so this I think is gonna be good. And it's about three fingers wide where that curve starts. rib. Now this is where ribs are also really helpful is when you have to make multiple pieces. So I'm going to use that rib kind of in the same angle each time. Now your pieces can be different shapes in the center, but basically your foot ring and the place where it connects to the, the cup above it, that's what matters. So if you're making a stacking piece and it can kind of stack and be sort of all sorts of all over the place, then we're not doing it right. Um, need to go a little bit wider. All right, that's looking beautiful. Oh wait, did I check my inside? Now a little bit tall, so I'm gonna bring that down a little bit.
Okay, let's check again. Beautiful. Everything I always wanted in a mug. Do, 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 do. Another deep groove. All right, so I made, uh, I'll just use one more. Um, I would strongly, so if you need five, I'd say make eight. And you might end up with five good ones because things are going to happen during the trimming process. Things are going to happen during the glazing process. You know, life's hard. Life as a ceramic pot is hard.
didn't want to trim all of that off. Whatever. That's fine. 